Looks like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. Consciousness is gone, and this space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. <sighs> Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. Well, how about a conversation? The chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. Wouldn't you agree? That battle earlier was tough. The one against Dane, I mean. I didn't expect that after everything, he would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. The loom of fate, huh? <sighs> I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time before the heavenly principles awaken. Yes, for 500 years now, ever since the cataclysm in Conria, there's been no sign of activity. Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy her divine throne. Yes? Such a flagrant disregard for the rules, and still Celestia took no action. I suppose that's proof enough of the Heavenly Principles situation. However, the Heavenly Principles will awaken. We just don't know when that will be, or what might trigger it. You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was. Quiet and peaceful. Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. He brought comfort to the people of this world, even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? Of course, that's only one example. My feelings about the heavenly principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. <sighs> Ether? You're the only one in this world who calls me that. There's so much I wanted to ask you, but for some reason, I'm not interested in asking those questions right now. There's just one thing I have to ask. One thing I could never understand. Why? Why can't we continue our journey together? At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known as the Sea of Flowers at the End. Do you remember? A long time ago, when we traveled between worlds together, you told me you wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom. To have a place like that suddenly appear before me. Well, would you think of that as a coincidence? You mean... I miss you too, Ether. But as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes, let alone my own brother. <sighs> huh? What's going on? This space has lost its tether. I doubt 
doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. In fact, aside from our inability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. With Kari Bear gone, we won't be able to remember anything that happened here. Everything in this space will be wiped from existence, including all memory of our reunion. You're only telling me this now? <laughs>